Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Mob of the Dead video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Blunder Gat for free very easily, and you can do this every game. Uh, so, the first thing you're going to want to do, it's a couple prerequisites, is you're going to need to fly the plane over to uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. You're just going to want to fly over there. I don't know why. All you need to do is fly over there. You don't need to kill anything, and then you want to transport back. And also, another thing you're going to need to do is you need to get the Hell's Retriever. This thing you're going to actually be using to throw at uh, skulls, and uh, you need to collect five skulls with this Hell's Retriever. So if you guys don't know how to do uh, both of those, there are tutorials on my channel. Just go watch the videos on how to do those if you don't know how to do those. So once you have gotten those, what you're going to want to do is you want to come over to this lib library over here by the spawn and look into this cell and you want to throw your tomahawk at the skull. When you throw the tomahawk, you should see a blue skull returning with your tomahawk and you should also hear a zombie laugh. That's when you know you have done it right. The reason why you don't see it on my screen is because I recorded this in theater just because my capture card screwed up when I was recording live. So uh, that's why you don't see it. But you should see a blue skull returning with your tomahawk. That's when you know you've done it right. Once again, you can do any of these uh, five tomahawks in any order you want. So the second tomahawk that you need, uh, sorry, the second skull that you need to get is you want to go over to the warden's office. You want to look out here in the window and you want to look up at this telephone pole and throw your tomahawk at it. And uh, you should see the blue skull returning back and you should hear your zombie laugh. And that's when you know if you've done it correctly and you have gotten the second skull. You can do these in any order you Want. I just did it in these uh, this order. So if you guys are lost on the map, just follow where I go and stuff like that. So the second. Uh, sorry, the third skull is located on the top of the roof where you build a plane. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to come over to this corner and, and you want to throw your tomahawk at this corner of the roof and you should see the blue skull returning with the tomahawk. That's the one you know you've done it right. The fourth tomahawk is located down with the docks by Juggernaut. What you want to do is you want to come in this corner and jump up. I just jump up because it's easier like that. This one's rather hard to get because it's really high up and kind of far away. So you want to throw your tomahawk up there at the light, uh, light post and you should get the blue skull. Now the last blue skull that you need to get is down by the docks over here by the unaccessible part of the map. What you're going to want to do is you want to throw your tomahawk at the third pole from the left. Just throw it at the pole that I threw it at here and you should get the fifth skull sorry the fifth skull and you should hear a noise and uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, run all the way back up to the warden's office after you have gotten the fifth skull and uh, you when you walk into the warden's office you should see this on the table over here in the room with sleight of hand now, I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty crazy. As you can see, there's a flaming blunder gat on the table, which is just really cool. It looks really cool, and all you need to do is pick it up for free. It doesn't cost anything, and you can get this every game. And just do this, and you get a free blunder gat. It's very good. Uh, this is very helpful if you guys don't want to waste a lot of time. Uh, hitting the box and trying to get it all the time because I know I've wasted so many points trying to get the blunder guy out of the box so it's really good and I really want it and I just waste a lot of points so it's a really good strategy and I definitely suggest you guys use this so you guys don't have to waste any points so I definitely suggest you guys do this thanks so much for watching I, I really appreciate it if you guys left a like if you found it helpful or enjoyable anything like that subscribe if you're new and I'm signing out peace